Hey, Shiva Rajaya here from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about mantras, and the next one that I want to demonstrate to you is a mantra that is a bit more complex. So when you're creating sequences, you can either uh, go and tap into the existing knowledge, you know, and tap into, I don't know, repeat a mantra which is already in the scriptures, like in the Rig Veda or other secret scriptures. You can go and repeat the Quran or the Bible, you know, and really sing those, those verses. Or you can really create your own songs. And um, uh, a couple of years ago, I was in Thailand, there by the beach, and I started feeling like I needed a certain set of sequences to, to uh, anchor very specific vibrations inside of me. So I started with, um, you know, invoking the power of Kali and the power of Tantra and the power of sexual mastery. And it goes on and on like that. And the power of Kriya or energetic activation and the power of money as well goes in there. So uh, while I was uh, designing this mantra and eventually what was happening is that, you know, I was going and swimming in the waves and in the water and integrating this mantra. It took me about a week to two weeks to actually get into my system. You know, it's a complex mantra. But what it does is that every time I sing it, you know, I'm taking a shower over here and I'm singing this mantra, it brings back the vibration of a certain sequence. It's like, you know, a set of uh, movements, like for instance, martial art movements that you repeat to yourself or dance movements that call back a set of qualities in, inside, of, inside of you. So the mantra is too complex, this one for you to do. So you can simply tune into the vibration so that you understand the dynamics of creating actually long poems and long sequences. Okay, so you, I'm not going to give you the details of the meaning, just listen to the sound and listen to the vibration and listen to how I repeat it and how it has been just created out of nothing because that's a message or a certain a set of qualities that I wanted to give to my subconscious mind. So let me repeat it for you a few times. It goes like that. Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prarochana yamma dikaranya yamma kriya yamma shaktipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma raja yam Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prarochana yamma dikaranya yamma kriya yamma shaktipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma rajaya Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prarochana yamma dikaranya yamma kriya yamma shaktipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma rajaya So right now I'm doing it in a way which is relatively slow but I can also speed up you know go a little bit faster so it can also go like that. Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prachana yamma dikarani yamma kriya yamma shakipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma raja yam. Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prachana yamma dikarani yamma kriya yamma shakipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma raja yam. Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prachana yamma dikarani yamma kriya yamma shaktipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma raja yam. Kali yamma tantra yamma kamma yamma prachana yamma dikarani yamma kriya yamma shaktipata yamma satya yamma yuda yamma guru yamma raja yam. Wow, you see and in the moment you start repeating it there is lots of very high vibration that comes into your system. If you hear, for instance, there is a, a word that repeats itself a lot, it's the word yama, which, which is mastery. In the sequence, there is a moment where I say mastery of truth, mastery of my destiny line, mastery of money, mastery of teaching, you know, so I'm invoking different levels of mastery of different aspects of, of my life. So again, it's not a mantra that you have to necessarily learn. If you go on my website, the the script is there and the, the, the sequence is, is there, you can tap into it. 
but it's just to give you an example of how mantras can evolve and how they can be used. When I do this mantra, sometimes I, you know, I can go on for like 10, 15 minutes. If I'm going for a walk in the mountains, for instance, like I might focus on this mantra for a whole day and be just repeating that inside of, you know, in my mind or physically out loud while I, I walk or while I do some sports or while I go jogging or something like that. So it's a, yeah, it's a very powerful sequence that, you know, activates your mind.